concrete, basically. I know it's a bit elementary here for many of you. You're probably very uh, well versed in it, more versed than I. But one uh, important thing, serious, um, seriously, is knowing that the characteristics of the concrete being placed is important to vibration selection. So once we understand what the mix is like, then we can zero in on options for external form vibrators. What we're going to do is try to come up with some ideas and concepts to eliminate these as issues using external form vibrators. So concrete basically um, consists of these types of um, materials, aggregates, cement, sand, water. Sometimes chemicals and fibers will touch upon those as well. Uh, and again, knowing the characteristics of the concrete uh, being placed is, is important. So let's err on the side of caution when we talk about what's going on in the concrete mix. When concrete's being poured or placed, it may contain as much as 20 to 30% in trapped air by volume. And trapped air is bad. It's going to compromise the strength of the product. Air pockets that remain will cause honeycombs. Those honeycombs uh, basically reduce the ability for the mix to properly bind with the reinforcement within. Um, it, it's important to note that small amounts of air are necessary for a concrete mix. Uh, micro air helps alleviate the internal pressures on the concrete um, where, where there's freezing and thawing conditions. So it's important that we have, that we understand not all air needs to be e eliminated from the mix. So what does vibrating the concrete do? Okay, so it's necessary procedure for concrete compaction. And we'll talk a bit, a bit, a bit more about the compaction or consolidation in a bit. And it improves the concrete's bond to reinforcement steel, which we just talked about um, by eliminating those honeycombs or those voids. When concrete's still wet, vib vibration liquefies the concrete, enabling it to flow better into the, all the crevices of the form. That photo we looked at earlier, evidently in that instance, they were not able to get the material to flow or the concrete to flow into those corners of that form. It's also going to uh, help um, with the maximum amount of contact with the metal, metal reinforcements. And it helps the larger air bubbles that can rise to the surface and be dissipated easily. So we talked about concrete compaction or consolidation. The uh, American Concrete Institute says that concrete consolidation is the process of reducing the volume of the voids, air pockets, and entrapped air in a concrete mix. It's usually accomplished by inputting mechanical uh, energy, and that's what we're going to talk about with the external form vibrators. It's a process of forming a tighter arrangement of the particles to basically push all of the um, air pockets and voids out. Just a quick uh, note about concrete mix. Um, if you've been in the industry very long, you know about SCC. Many of you may be using it. I talk to producers often who have evolved a bit from saying early on that SEC, we use SEC, we don't vibrate, we don't need to. Many have evolved to, to saying we use SEC and we do vibrate slightly in some instances. But um, just to recognize the fact that there is self-consolidating concrete out there and some people choose not to vibrate it or don't need to. Also um, related kind of to the SEC, uh, it's not uh, what we're going to talk about, but it's important to recognize internal concrete vibrators. They're prevalent. They're used in most every application. Every producer's got them. Um, they're very effective where they can be used, but I've highlighted a few notes here. They must be operated properly. That second paragraph <clears throat> talks about how in many European countries, they have to go through a operator license process that can take up to a 10-year apprenticeship. Here in the United States, none of that exists. It's all up to the individual facility to ensure that the staff is up to date and understands how to use them. 
they're labor intensive. And if well-trained and disciplined operators are not used, inconsistent and unacceptable results will likely be produced. So that's a little discussion about the internal concrete vibrators.